Welcome everyone to the banks of Lake Michigan, Chicago, Illinois. The city of broad shoulders, the city that works. And inside the United Center, rabid USA basketball fans on hand to watch the homecoming of Derrick Rose. On, on behalf of myself, my teammates, USA Basketball, and Brazil, we want to thank you all for coming out. And I personally want to thank USA Basketball for hosting this great event in this great city because here, um, what's going on here is bigger than basketball. You got, you got kids that's li um, losing their life. And um, I hope that everybody recognizes it and this is huge for the city. So thank you to your whole USA staff. Thank you. What do you make of the way they're playing offensively and defensively? Give us, put your color analyst hat on and tell us what you think so far as Rose missed the layup. I think I appreciate your support. You got it, Paul. Get well. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. All right, my man. Thank you. Paul George of the Pacers, all NBA this year. And uh, Fran, patch him up. With 6.41 to go in the first half, USA leading by seven from the United Center. Coming back into the ball game, they can't get enough Derrick Rose here in Chicago. It has been a long time between drinks of water. CJ Vanoni. He has that some kind of different speed, though. That's working. Derrick Rose. Ain't working. Back in kind, responding here in Chicago with time to spare. <laughs> well, that looked like Usain Bolt with a basketball. <laughs> well, Derrick, first tell me what happened to your head. Um, got hit going to the lane or something like that. Something happened. I don't know what happened, but um, just had to get a couple of um, strips and I'm fine. Coach put you back in there with 4.6 seconds left. Obviously, the plan was to have happen what happened. Yeah. What ta tell me about it. He didn't even give me a chance to warm up, but it is what it is. He, he has confidence in me. Um, he gave me the ball, told me just rush it down the corner and shoot a good shot, and then we got a good shot off. What's it like for you to be back here on this floor full speed? Man, come on, man. Being here, the environment, just the atmosphere is great, man. I'm happy to be here. Thanks, Derek. Derek Rose, homegrown, playing for the hometown team and giving the home fans his time and his skills. What a night so far for Derrick Rose. USA by eight when we come back. This is the Steve Nash of World in basketball. There's a foul as Rose Jazz have his rights. Just don't have room for him right now. Look at that. Yeah, he's not guarding Derrick Rose, though. No, he's not. <laughs> no one is right now. Tell you what, that guy is quicker than gossip, folks. Derrick Rose with the blow-by in the Windy City. Well, he's playing fearlessly, too, which is exactly what you want to see. Derrick Rose using this competition to get his game back in sync. And with 5.20 to go, here comes Derrick Rose. That's been the highlight of the night for me, is to see Derrick Rose from start to finish feel the passion of this United Center crowd. Anthony Davis got shaken up a little bit. I think he might have got hit a little bit below the belt. There's uh, Clay Thompson. And now the United States starting to knock down its three-pointers. Played with all those Argentines, Nocioni and Trigioni. Harden knocks, knocks it down, but how about this? Fittingly, Derrick Rose here with time winding down. Homecoming game for D. Rose. Seven points. And still getting back into the flow. I have a feeling before this World Cup of basketball journey is all said and done that his game will reemerge in a big way, friend. Well, and we said at the top, right? Anthony Davis, Derrick Rose have a chance to really put their mark on this team. We saw that tonight. And that's it. 40 minutes in the books and the USA with its first friendly coming to an end. Victors 95 to 78.